Hi everyone, it's Melissa and I'm here with another video. Um, today I'm going to show you a layout that I'm going to be featuring on my blog today um, and I am super excited about it because um, although it's a Halloween layout, it is my very first um, scene layout, which <clears throat> I don't know, sorry about, I have, I, I'm coming over the flu, but you know, I'm a big fan of Nicole McGuirk and I can put her, um, link to her, you know, blog, um, in the comments, but she is always doing like Carrie Bradford, um, she sells digital kits online. She's always doing with her, um, cameo, these super magnificent scenes. And, uh, although I could never, you know, measure up to those, um, this was my first attempt and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did not, however, use any of Carrie Bradford's kits to make this, nor, um, these were all purchases from the Silhouette store. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a Halloween layout. Um, so here it is. Super cute. Um, I, uh, gosh, I just love it. Um, this was of course nowhere near, um, like I, like I mentioned, um, Carrie Bradford's layouts are, um, you know, just absolutely stunning and, <laughs> out of my reach at this point. I need to practice more with my, um, my silhouette, but, um, sorry about the glare. I'm just trying to make sure everybody like the lights on here. So <clears throat> these two pumpkins here were stamps and I embossed their faces. They're stamping up stamps. Um, super old, retired. This fence I purchased from this silhouette, um, store. I did these hills freehand and I, um, you know, shaded the, the edges with my Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Um, let's see, this tree was from the Silhouette Store and I actually wanted it to veer this way and all the ones that I saw on the store's website, this, they didn't kind of like go where I wanted to go. So you can't see it, but I, or maybe you can, I don't know, but I went in and I kind of, I cut two of these and I kind of, um, so you can see this piece and this piece match. So I kind of like cut this area off and then glued it over here. And then these I'll, um, bats, these are from the, <clears throat> excuse me, the store, the Silhouette store, and then Studio Calico. Um, I sprayed these with some gold um, glimmer mist. And I actually sprayed the tree too with um, my, it's either Calico, like the brown or black, I can't remember, but this cute darling little sticker. These eyes poking out of use my old Stampin' Up! Punch and um, I put those in there. It's just so cute. And then this is just a circle, but I used my Martha Stewart. One of her Halloween sets has, this says, blah, ah, ah, ah. So, and then Happy Halloween was an old Stampin' Up! So I embossed that and added that and just did some basic shading. Um, but yeah, I just, I love it. And I'm super um, proud of myself, really, and I can't wait to potentially do, you know, more in the future. Um, uh, like I said, this was my first, it's, it was, it took me, you know, uh, quite a while because I was, you know, fidgeting with size and everything like that, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I, um, yeah, but I really like it, so to let me know what you think. And then, um, I don't usually, well, sometimes I do, but I'm just going to share um, a couple cards I made over the weekend. I've been crafting like crazy, and um, literally this is um, a Halloween layout from 2012, and I just finished last weekend my last, it was my New Year's layout for 2012, so my family book is complete, and I have lots of layouts to share. Um, so I do share one layout every week, so um, if you want to check out my blog or um, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know if I'll be doing videos, of course, for all of those, but I did want to talk about this one because it was special. But um, And then I did this cute little card. I have two friends' birthdays coming up. And this is a little, um, I want to say a birdie told me. I, I'm not quite sure. I'm terrible with that. Sorry. I should have wrote that down. But um, I used those new, I'm still playing with it, so it's a work in progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I used those new ink tents, pencils. And so, um, and I really love the technique that I've been seeing where you can use the pencils on craft paper and get a really dramatic look. So I actually made this card. 
move my light maybe. Um, and I just love it. And actually what I did was is I embossed, um, this is a Stampin' Up! Fifth Floral maybe or something like that. And then I took those, um, those ink pencils and just kind of, you know, did my best and added some color here and there. And then I went over it with a paintbrush um, with some Perfect Pearls, the liquid, and made it sparkle and added some pearls. And I distressed the edge and um, added some, I want to say, uh, Studio Calico, maybe like the Clay Mist. Um, this is Stampin' Up! But super simple, and I just love these new pencils. So I do not have a single Copic marker. Um, you know, with everything else that I buy, I, I can't justify that as um, another thing that I want to start collecting, so to say. So I guess they're very expensive, and I'd rather just collect. I'm an embellished nut, so I'd rather just collect that type of stuff. But um, but these, you know, ink tents, I bought them on eBay, and then I got I scored some at Hobby Lobby, so... Um, with a coupon, so it, it worked out, but it was so, super cute. So, um, so yeah, that's my share for you today. Um, thanks for watching, and um, you can check out my blog, which I will link at the bottom, and Nicole McGorks, and I will uh, see you soon. Thanks. Bye.